Today's video is going to be about a tiny little thing that can have a huge impact on all your videos. It won't be groundbreaking, but it will have an impact on how people perceive your video or even feels about your videos. I used this, let's call it rule, in the intro we just watched. Could you feel it? Do you like it? Let's watch the intro again, but without the rule, and instead I will use sort of conventional editing standards. See you in 32 seconds. Did you feel the difference? Could you tell if it was the video that was different or if it was the audio that was different? What would you say if I told you that the video is exactly the same in the first and the second video? And if I told you that the audio is also exactly the same? In fact, the only difference between the first and the second intro is 15 frames. Do I have your attention yet? Let me show you that second part of the intro again, but uh, inside DaVinci Resolve, which I use for editing my video. It will look more or less the same if you use uh, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, so don't worry if you are not using the DaVinci Resolve. So if you look at this clip, I have aligned the video with the beat of the audio. That's the conventional way of editing video. I mean, we can find hundreds of tutorials, probably thousands of tutorials on YouTube that tell you edit cut on the beat. The problem for me, and I, I don't have any science explanation for it, for me it just feels off, it feels wrong. But if we instead look on the first intro, the first part, where I have realigned the video one frame off the beat. Yeah, let's call it that, the offset rule. I kind of like that, the offset rule. So if we realign the video with the beat, minus one frame. I think it feels better. Again, I don't know why, but when the audio hits one frame after the video, it feels better. The markers are on the beat. That's usually how I edit my videos. I found the beat, I add a marker to the beat, then I cut my video one frame prior to the beat. And now we can call it the offset rule. I'm even gonna name this video, so this is gonna be me in the past speaking to you in the future. When you watch this video, you are watching the offset rule. How to realign your audio on your video to sort of edit to the beat. Minus one. The offset. Just for the sake of it, I will show you one last version. So if we do the opposite, if we do the offset rule, but we cut one frame after the beat. I'll just realign the video to happen one frame after the beat. I'll save you from listening to the entire intro again. I'll just play a few beats. Let's listen to this. That really feels off, right? That, that, that's even worse. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong. You can do whatever you like to do when you edit. You can edit on the beat, the conventional way. Let me know in the comments below if you like to edit to the beat or if this video maybe will change how you edit your future videos. That's gonna be it for me. I hope you got something out of this video. I know I did. And if you got something out of this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one or maybe in any of these. Until then, bye bye. Hey, door.